what's up everyone i hope you all are well so i am back after six seven months all the day i was with my work and also various kind of research about loading so today's video i will show you how you can create ads for automation process on your own so without wasting any time let's jump into the process so the thing is first we need to download ads power from google so if we go to adspower.com you can see we will get a download option and we can download according to our devices configuration like this is for mac this is for windows and this is for linux i have already downloaded for windows and installed it so no need and after that i need to create a account on adspot so we can use temp mail for that okay so if we use temp mail let's uh, put the mail on as for sign up option Okay, this is the mail Let's get the verification code here is a capsa of solving the puzzle Okay, so we can see the verification code is done if we refresh our inbox is still empty so we can see that the verification code we got the verification code here so this is the code nine zero nine zero five three so okay so now we just sign up the thing and that's it nothing else we need to do so we can just uh, create a new profile called Shaki write my name so we are not doing anything right now so what we need to do is make a rpa automated process that means automated process correctly okay in this process what we will include and what we don't need to include i will tell you everything in detail okay because last seven eight month i have loaded many account in many account and those account most of them were successful so from my experience i will share you the tricks so let's give a name called um, rpa1 okay so here you can see that we will see many actions here like new tab close tab close other tabs and also we have the keyboard actions wait actions get data and also the data processing profile information and the other things third party tools like we can bypass here the second capture and also sometimes capture version 3 so that will be in the higher level so but in the first at first we will uh, try a new one on our own suppose we have a website called uh, bangladeshclub.com this is a website okay so if we search the website here so you can see that here is a google search link this one is the google search link so what we need to do is first
access to the website this is our first section and this is the link so how much time we will wait till the site is loading we will wait maximum 15 second one second is one one second is 1000 millisecond so that's the thing first we'll wait in the website okay then after uh, loading the URL we'll just wait for some time okay just like here we can give the time and the time will be random like from 5 to 10 second okay okay so that's the thing and after that after that we will give a click okay click on where if we uh, go to the side then if we inspect the element okay so you can see okay here we can click here we can just copy the selector okay so that's it here we will select the selector and just make it put it here so that's it after that we can see that our website will be loaded so mm, this interface will come after the loading okay so then what we will do we'll do we'll wait some time like um, it will be random time and the time will be uh, 7 to 15 second okay that will be good for everyone 7 to 15 second okay so that's the thing and after waiting uh, we'll do some scrolling okay so if we see this mm, scroll option page position position mm, intermediate like mm, this is a page total page we will not scroll till the end we will scroll in till the middle okay so if we select here intermediate and scroll is randomly here we have the pixels here uh, 350 okay duration duration will be uh, 5000 millisecond to 15000 millisecond that means the scrolling time from top to intermediate will be 5 to 15 seconds okay so